Hi, I'm Katie. I've been surrounded with vintage goodies most of my life, but just in the last 10 years, I've figured out just how much delight I get from having it in my home and looking at it for other people. Come along as I share my shopping adventures at thrift stores, estate sales, and sometimes even along the curb. I will also be showing some of my decorating projects that I've completed and how I have chosen to add vintage to my home for a modern granny chic look. I hope you will find joy along the way as we reawaken vintage. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode episode here on Reawaken Vintage. As always, I'm grateful that you take a little time out of your day to watch. And if you have not subscribed yet, I would really appreciate if you would do so and share with your friends as well. So the main focus today of this video is this piece right here. So there is a um, online auction company that uh, is in our area and about an hour away. And so every once in a while, I'll check and see what they've got. And they had a huge sale this past week. And one of the lots had this and some other random Christmas stuff in it. So I got the entire lot for uh, $14.50. But this is what I really wanted. Um, yes, not for sale, but I had to show it off. It is a um, cruel art piece, probably done in the 1970s, maybe early 80s. Um, this is a Chris Davenport. She was a lady at that time that created these designs um, for people to make. And so I am in love with this piece. Just the detail, and I love that it's got a little koala bear. But um, yeah, whoever created this definitely knew what they were doing. This is a nice big one. Um, let's see what the back, yeah, somebody had it professionally framed, although it's a little messed up now. So I had to show you that Cruel is very, very popular. And again, what makes it different than Needlepoint is this raised stitching. All different types of stitches come along in Cruel as opposed to just Needlepoint or just cross stitch. So this definitely took somebody, you figure even the background probably had to be stitched. So this took somebody a um, lot of time and I'm super excited. So everything else I got is probably gonna be up for sale. And it's funny how when you look at a picture, especially these online auctions, I couldn't tell how big anything was. So I wasn't quite sure if I was getting a tiny little framed thing or something large. This is big guys. Um, so let's go through some of the other things that were there. This again, didn't, couldn't tell how big. This is a huge Christmas wreath. Very, very pretty, very well done. Um, if you're local and you would like to purchase this, let me know. It would be beautiful to maybe even add some more decorations to. If you're looking for a really big wreath, maybe for above a mantle. Um, here is something else. Got to spin you guys around. Sorry about this. Uh, again, it's huge. I don't even know how big this is. It's huge. Um, somebody had, this is more, let's see. This is more just, oops, sorry about the dogs, needle point. So somebody needle pointed what looks like, so it's not an actual Christmas stocking, but it's a needle point version of it. Again, to find somebody whose name is Andrea, probably not very good, but the frame alone is definitely worth getting. So if you're local and are interested in that, shipping that would be way too much. Um, here is another piece that was part of the lot, super cute. Um, it's not made out of wood. It is some type of ceramic. You hear that? But really cute. But again, he's big. He is at least two feet tall. Be super cute for somebody that this kind of matches their decor. I'll go around to the back of it as well. Super cute, but not something that I need. And then we got a little box of goodies as well. So I have not looked at this box. My husband was kind enough. He was already going near where the pickup location for this was. So he brought this in late last night. Again, I think it's just stuffed animals. So again, the only thing good for me was the cruel. But again, these are big stuffed. <laughs> yes, it's just a box of stuffed animals. Wow, that is big. Jingles, oh, look at that. Oh, that's more for, uh, it's not a Christmas one, right? That would be more for Valentine's Day. You've got a little Pomeranian puppy. We've got a Christmas teddy bear. We've got a panda bear. And then again, another 
if your name is Andrea, um, an actual stocking that somebody I'm sure made with some bells, really, really cute. So thanks for watching this short video as I'm always out and about and looking for interesting things. Again, very happy with my cruel piece, but as always, if there's anything you're interested in, just let me know. You can um, email me at reawakenvintage at gmail.com or comment on this video. That's it for now, guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.